So we're going to talk now about the mommy brain. So within two weeks after conception, progesterone levels rise, causing a sedation, and, which makes a pregnant woman rest, eat, and drink, uh, drink more fluids. Morning sickness is actually a way, nature's way of preventing a mom, a pregnant mom, from eating poisonous um, substances. So she's overly sensitive to smell and taste. And progesterone spikes from um, 10 to 100 times the normal level during the first two to four months of pregnancy. The sedating effect of progesterone and high, uh, high estrogen levels also help to protect um, the woman against the stress hormones that occur that are produced by the fetus and the placenta. And these, uh, so instead of feeling stressed, the pregnant woman becomes more vigilant about her safety, nutrition, and her surroundings and left less attuned to um, tasks like work. So at birth, there's a cascade of oxytocin as the progesterone levels drop and the uterus, um, this, use, you, this causes the uterus to contract. The smell of a baby's head produces pheromones that stimulate the female brain to produce oxytocin. And for a human mom, um, the smell of her baby and all its bodily fluids and its cries are, are chemically imprinted on her brain. And she becomes protective and more um, aggressive and more courageous. Um, and these are skills and talents needed to keep track and protect, uh, protect her baby. Now, expecting dads go through some hormonal changes as well. There's a, something called cuvade, cuvade or cuvade syndrome, where 65% of men whose wives are pregnant actually have symptoms of pregnancy. Um, they gain weight, they get tired, they get nauseous. Um, there's actual hormonal changes that occur. And um, in the weeks before birth, researchers have found that fathers uh, have 20% rise in another hormone called prolactin, which is also a nurturing hormone and also uh, is for nursing. Um, and at, and um, at the same time, their, their stress hormone, their cortisol, also rises. Um, and this increases their sensitivity and alertness, preparing them for, for being a dad. In the first two weeks of birth, men's testosterone levels actually go down, and um, their estrogen level goes up. So this can be from uh, the pheromones of the pregnant woman. And this causes changes in his brain that prepares him for um, being nurturing a nurturing dad. <clears throat> also, re researchers have found that if mothers are not good nurturers for whatever reason, like too many children, financial pressures, careers that don't allow enough child care time, they're less attached to their babies, and can, uh, this can negatively affect the trust and security circuits of their children. Um, so in, females can actually inherit their mother's maternal behavior and pass it on. So although the behavior isn't passed on genetically, research shows that nurturing capacity in mammals is passed on, and that's another called epigenetic uh, type of inheritance. It means on top of the gene. And they've shown that um, nurturing, from, however, from any love, uh, love trust-inducing adult, um, they make the baby smarter, healthier, and better, able to deal with stress. So it doesn't, if the mom is or dad is not available, if there's another um, person in their life that is giving them that nurturing, like a grandparent or, or someone, then the child can, can grow up healthy. Children with less maternal care and uh, end up more easily stressed, hyper-reactive, um, inattentive, sick, and fearful as adults.